What's up guys? So today I'm gonna to be showing you some line that, for crappie fishing that I would be that I would recommend to you. So let's get into it. First, my name's Colton and you're watching Smith Outdoors. The reason that we're doing this video inside today is because it's raining outside and I don't feel like getting wet. Alrighty guys. So the first type of line that I'm gonna recommend and probably what I'll recommend the most. It's this Mr. Crappie six pound line. What I like the most about this kind of line is that it don't have hardly any memory. So it works really, really good. All right, for the second type of line, I'm going to recommend is this Mr. Crappie six pound high vis. That works pretty good. But what I use it for is I throw it up in between the floats at the lake on the docks and with it being that high vis yellow i can see it really good and it lets me know where my line's at up underneath the docks so the third type of line that i'm going to recommend is this crappie max bass pro shops eight pound line camo line it works really good i use that on some of my uh, heavier reels um and it works pretty good. I'll I'll show you a reel that um I normally keep that kind of line on. Right, so the reel that I normally keep the line on is uh this Lose L Z R Pro. Great, great reel. Um it's really, really red, but it shows up as an orange on the camera. But I'll try to go through and show y'all um reels that I have with this kind of line on them. So the reel that I have this Mr. Crappie four or six pound line, excuse me, um, is this Lou's Speed Spin. And if you haven't watched already, I did a in-depth review on this reel and rod uh, earlier in the week. So go watch it. And but this reel with this line on it works great together. Hey guys, this is the reel I normally use for throwing up under docks and I normally have this uh, Mr. Crappie high vis six pound or eight pound depending on which one. And this is a little reel for eight pound. It's only a, it's a Shimano Cena 500. Um, I also have the Shimano Cena in 2500. And I normally, and I've got six pound camo line on that one. And it, both of them work really good. I really haven't used the 2500 a ton. Um, but I have used this one a ton and it works really, really good. Alright, so the next kind of line that I would recommend is this Berkeley Solutions Mono. Um, and all of these are mono except for uh, one kind of line that I'll show you here in a little bit. But, um, this line is very good, but you got to make sure that you put it on the right way. Otherwise, it does have quite a bit of memory. Um, I'll show you a reel that has that, the line on it. So, this is another, um, Lou's LZR Pro. Um, and it has that Berkeley Solutions mono line on it. Um, it works really, really good. Um, I really haven't used it a ton on this reel, and I haven't used this reel very much either. I normally use the other one, uh, just because the rod I have it on. I have used this line on other reels, and so I know it works good. Alright, so the next kind of line is this Mr. Crumpy 8-pound high vis. Now, I normally have this on that a uh, Cena 500 that I use for throwing up under docks. Um, I really only used it once because most of the docks I fish don't have a ton of cover around them. So I and I don't have line on that reel right now. Otherwise, I would show it to you with this kind of line. But I normally use that Mr. Crappie six pound on it. It works better for what I do, but I have used it some. All right, so the next kind of line is this Mr. Crappie four pound camo line. Now 
it is pretty light, but it casts really, really good. All of these cast good, but that one, since it's the lightest, it casts the best. But um, I'll show you a reel that has that on there. So this is a reel I normally use trout fishing. Um, it has that uh, Mr. Crappie four pound on it. It works great. Uh, like I said, it has hardly any memory on it. And that's what I like about all this Mr. Crappie stuff the most. The Crappie Max is pretty good. Um, but I would recommend uh, the Mr. Crappie uh, six pound camo line the most. So let's go on to the next kind. So this next kind of line is the Berkeley Vanish. Uh, kind of line is the only kind of line that uh, is on this table that is not mono. This is a uh, four carbon line. Um, it works pretty good. Um, if you don't put it on right, it has quite a bit of memory. Um, I would more recommend this kind of line for bait casting reels. Uh, not so much spinning reels, but it works for both. I've uh, went through several spools. That's why I don't have an actual spool for it on the table. I use it a lot. Um, it works pretty good. But what I like about it the most is it seems to be stronger than normal 6-pound line. But yet it's still the same diameter as normal 6-pound line. So that's why I use it more. And I have several reels with this on it. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you liked the video. If you didn't, give it a like. And subscribe if you're not already. Um, there, I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. Um of a couple videos that are coming up there will probably be, probably be some uh more bait reviews coming up not a ton but a couple more and uh here for too long i don't know exactly whenever it'll be out it may already be out whenever i post this video um a rod and reel arsenal um and i got another reel coming in and I gotta put it on a rod and test it. That way I can give you a, a pin, my opinion on it. And um, so that video will be coming up soon.